360 terabytes worth of data can now be stored in the palm of your hands, or roughly 0.00001% of all the porn on the internet. You know, roughly. Through the magical combination of glass and lasers, we can now store 360 terabytes worth of data in a wafer that's smaller than a standard poker chip. What's even more crazy is that the researchers who came up with this storage claims that it can last for billions of years, even at extreme temperatures. To be more exact, they can handle temperatures up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. And if they were kept at a sustained temperature of 384 degrees, the data would still be readable in 13.8 billion years. Granted, in that many years, the sun would have long burned out and our entire planet would have gone with it. But that doesn't mean we can't burn a full mixtape of Justin Bieber songs and just blast it into space with the hopes of destroying some far off world millions of light years away just for the laws. What's actually interesting though is that there are about 130 million books written to this date. This new storage option has the capacity to store roughly about 180 million books on it. While YouTube has at least 15 exabytes worth of video, an exabyte being 1000 terabytes. So that means Google would need roughly around 42 of these in order to store all of their data. I don't know, I just found that interesting, so. Moving on, alien music from space. No, not science fiction, I mean actual alien music from space. As it turns out, the Apollo astronauts heard music playing while passing around the dark side of the moon. In this video released from the Science Channel, they play the recording of the astronauts hearing and commenting on the sounds that they are listening to. The conversations that follow the sounds makes it clear they are unlike anything the astronauts have ever heard. That is music even sounds out of space, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? <laughs> Of course, this is probably not actually sounds from an alien species, but since we don't have an exact scientific reason as to why the sounds were there, we all have to assume it's from aliens. What I don't get though is that why it took so many decades for NASA to release this information. My theory, of course, is that this was music from an alien species, and they sent their version of Justin Bieber music to Earth in an attempt to destroy humanity. It just took NASA over 40 years to develop the technology required to convert the music into an audible format so we can all listen to it without our heads exploding. Which totally makes my idea of sending them Bieber music completely warranted and I think we need to jump on that as soon as possible. A new simulation of a universe has been created that allows us to take a voyage through 13 billion years of expansion. Created by supercomputers, the new simulation was built to study and compare to our own universe, hopefully to find answers to the many questions we have. For example, which civilization do we want to destroy first? You know, with Bieber music. Okay, so this is not an entire universe, but the size is about 330 million light years across, big enough to study all of the most important elements in space without actually crashing the computer. Most of the simulations they have been running or focusing on in this universe has revolved around dark matter and dark energy. If you wanna see more on how this cool simulation, I will throw a link to the video in the description. In lighter news, hackers have recently hacked the Linux Mint website and redirected the download link to a version of the OS with the backdoor pre-installed. As far as I know, there was only one version that was affected and it was only for a short amount of time. But just in case you have recently downloaded a copy of Mint, check out the links in the description to see if you are infected. Also, Kanye West in all his glory is trying to sue the Pirate Bay because for some reason his latest album has been shared over half a million times. The Pirate Bay people of course just laughed their ass off and said, good luck. That's it for today folks, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits. Like and subscribe to this video below and thank you for watching.